Namaste and welcome back to the live class. My dear friends, uh, it is time for us to solve some really unique questions which I am sure will really test your knowledge and build your logic for you. Without wasting any more time, let's start with the first hacker rank question we are going to be solving today. So let us see what that question is. Hmm? Okay. So the name of the question is Mars exploration. Okay. So let's try to read what it means. If I come down, so a space explorer ship crashed on Mars. They send a series of SOS messages for uh, to Earth for help. Now SOS, those of you who don't know, stands for Save Our Soul. That's what it stands for. For example, you are you know you got lost in a jungle, you are stuck somewhere, you know. All these, you know, when you want to send a signal out to people to come save you, that, that signal is technically called as a SOS signal, which means save our soul. That is what it means. So they have crash landed on Mars and they are sending a SOS signal to Earth for somebody to come rescue them. Anyways, if I scroll down, uh, letters in some of the SOS messages are altered by cosmic radiation during transmission, which means through space when it is going, some of that SOS characters are changing it seems. Given a signal received by Earth as a string yes, determine how many letters of the SOS message have been changed by radiation. For example, as you can see this is what Earth received, SOS is correct, but then uh, next one T-O-T. So, two characters have got altered. What has got altered? Yes has got altered, first yes has got altered, second yes has got altered. Which means you have to say that there were two of the characters were changed or altered because of radiation and that should be your output. So, if I come a little bit, function description, mass exploration, parameters is a string yes. What it returns is an integer, the number of letters changed during transmission. And if I come down, input format, there is one line of input which is a single string, yes, okay. And some conditions they have given, please come down. So, uh, uh, yeah, so as you can, and also if you go on a little bit, uh, yeah, if you look at the constraints carefully, it's telling length will be between 1 to 99 and length of the string modulo 3 will be 0, which means it is always a multiple of 3, which means either it will be SOS or SOS, you know, it will be 6 characters or 9 characters or 12 characters or 15 characters or 18 characters, 21, like that, it will be a multiple of 3. That's why obviously when you divide it by 3, modulo means what? Divide by 3, remainder will be 0. It's perfectly divisible by 3. So these are few constraints which you can keep at the back of your mind. So as you can see, SOS, correct. SPS, which means O has got altered, 1. Next is SQS. O has got altered, so 2, then yes, O, R, yes has got al altered, which means 3, and that should be your output. Is the question clear? Put a yes in the chat if it is crystal clear, if the question is clear to you. Question is clear. Good. Let me visualize it for those of them who did not understand the question, okay? So this is what they are saying. Watch it, guys. So... Because we are talking about Mars, naturally we have to go to Mars now. So let us assume like this I am in space and uh, this is that red planet which you call as Mars. And this is of course our planet which is Earth and obviously Earth is smaller compared to Mars. From here they send one rocket or a spaceship but it crashed on Mars, it crash landed. Because it crash landed, now they are sending a SOS signal, right? But that SOS signal as they send, see initially it will be correct. But due to cosmic radiation, it changes. See, it's now it is SOS. As it goes forward, it is changing. See, so it's altering, and altered signal goes reaches Earth. I hope I'm clear. Now you have to tell how many of those characters got altered. Hope I'm crystal clear with whatever was the expectation of the hacker rank problem. Okay. Now let us move forward and let us write the logic for the same. So first let us try to visualize and understand what the logic could be. <clears throat> Very simple. I will take that same input string which they have given which is this SOS and it is in a string yes and I am just showing it like this so that it is easier. Now you must understand, see three characters, three characters, three characters, three characters because SOS is always three characters but some of the characters have got altered. 
how will I find out the count of characters which is altered? So very simple, obviously, I will, uh, what I will do is, I will write the correct uh, signal. If it was not altered, it will be SOS, 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 SOS. Would you agree with me? Now what I am going to do is, I am going to have a variable called as count whose initial value is going to be 0 because obviously count has to be initialized to 0. At the end of it, I must know how many characters got altered. Here if you see SOS, this is correct. SPS, oh, this one character, so count will become 1. SQS, oh, one character, count will become 2. SOR, so last yes, count will become 3 initially and finally the output should be 3. So what will you do? What I will do is, I am going to run a loop on this. I will make i start from the 0th index. Very simple, what I do is, if really the signal was correct, if the signal was correct, then do not you think the ith character should be yes? Do not you think the next character, next means what? i plus 1 should be o. Do not you think the next, next character that is 2 which is nothing but i plus 2 should be yes? If it is not yes, then I will increment the value of count. If it is not O, I will increment the value of count. If it is not yes, I will increment the value of count. Otherwise, I will not increment. After which I, I will not move I by one position. I will move I by three positions so that I comes here. Hope you are able to understand. So, see what I am going to do is very simple. This, this is my condition. If in case the character at the ith position is not equal to yes, then I will increase the value of count. Else, I will check if in case the character else is also not required. If in case the character at the i plus 1 position, i plus 1 position is not equal to O. If that is the case, I will increment the value of count. One more if condition I will make use of, wherein I will just check is the character at the i plus 2 position is not equal to yes, yes, o, s. If it is not yes, o, s, increment the value of count. Would you agree with me? Now what I am going to do is, see, I, I will just apply that. So here character at the ith position is yes. Yes is not equal to yes. No, condition is false. If condition is false, do not increment. Now, see, i is not moving. In the loop, I am just coming down. Automatically, I am checking i plus 1. i plus 1 is what? 1. 1th position, what is there? O. So, O is not equal to O. Obviously, this condition is also false because it is equal to. So, I will not increment count. Then I am not moving I, but I am seeing I plus 2, character at the I plus 2 position. So, that is what I am checking and you know, uh, okay, this is also false and at the I plus 2 position also I have yes, which means even this condition is false. So, I will not increment count because this SOS signal is correct. But now I should move forward and check the next three characters. So, obviously, I should it move by one position? Should I move by two positions? Or should I move by three positions? Put in the chat. How many positions should I move by? It should increment by one or by three? Three. three? Correct? Correct. You are right. Three. So that is what I am also doing. See, I will increment I in the loop by telling I plus plus I will not tell. I will tell I equal to I plus three so that it moves to that position. Any confusion till here? Now, I am within a loop, same logic repeats. So, first character, ith position is yes. So, condition is false, I will not increment count. Then, i plus 1 position, it is p. p is not equal to, this means this condition is true. If this condition is true, I have to increment the value of count, which is exactly what I am doing. So, one distortion or one alteration has happened. Then, i plus 2 character I am checking i plus 2 character is p and obviously, I am um, sorry, is yes and uh, this is what I am checking, i plus 2. Yes is not equal to is false, which means I will not increment count. Then I am within a loop, I will increment by by 3 positions, which means i should be increasing by 3 positions. And same thing I will repeat. So, first character false, but second character is q, q is not equal to count has to increment because there is a distortion. Next, I will tell, check yes, yes is equal to yes, condition is false, I will not do anything, I will move i by 3 positions. Then I am going to check yes and uh, false, next is o, o so false, but the i plus 2 character is r, r is not equal to yes, which condition, this condition is to increment the value of count and obviously by the end. Now, if I tell i plus 3, it will go outside, so it will stop. 
I hope I'm clear. So I ultimately return this count. That's all. How many of you understood lo this logic perfectly? Put a yes in the chat if you understood the question and the logic perfectly. Cool. Let's write the logic. Hmm? So if in case I go and I open my editor, then uh, I've called the class as Mars Exploration. Okay, fine. Now I will uh, go there and uh, first I will just take the input, which is a single string yes. So I'll prepare my scanner. So scanner type scan equal to new scanner of system dot in like this. I'll tell. Okay. Next uh, I'll tell scan dot, uh, I'll also import it. So import java dot util dot scanner. Next I'll come inside and I will just scan it. So I'll tell scan dot uh, in. Oh, sorry, next because it's a string and I'll store that within a variable. Yes. Awesome. Now in the next line, uh, what we have to do is call the function. So I'll just tell system dot out dot println and uh, what was the name of the function? Mars exploration itself. Okay, fine. I'll call this as Mars exploration because I'm making it as lowercase name conflict. Fine. So, uh, we will not from going forward let's not make the class name same as the functions name anyways mars exploration i've told and pass the string yes okay this much is done now we'll go define the function so i'll just go there and i'll tell uh, static int because after all it has to return an integer uh, name of the function is mars exploration and what it accepts is a string in the form of yes this one extra yes you strings okay now inside that what I will do is uh, similar we need count so I'll tell int count initially value is 0 after which I'll come and I have to iterate uh, this string so I'll tell for int i should obviously begin from 0 but it should go till the end so I'll tell less than yes dot length but being a string it should be a method length method and then now I will not tell i plus plus I'll tell i equal to i plus 3. Next, I will go inside that. What I'm going to do, of course, is I'm going to uh, now just do write the same logic. So I'll tell if in case, character at the ith position is e not equal to yes. Then alteration has happened, increment count. See, else I don't require. I am just checking if this condition is satisfied. There is no else, there is no otherwise. So I will just press enter and I will not give a, any else part. I will just put one more if condition. There is no compulsion that every if condition should have an else. Okay. And I will check if in case the character at the, just copy paste it. Okay. I plus one position is uh, not equal to O. In which case I will obviously provide uh, count plus plus count count plus plus and then I'll just uh, copy this uh, yeah and there I'll make it as i plus 2 yeah count plus plus I hope I'm clear that's it at the end of the loop we would have got the value of count and I'll come outside and just return it so the the thing is people make complex the logic for such a problem. There is no need for complication. It's a very simple thing. See, how we made it efficient? We, we did not unnecessarily loop. We started, we checked if the character the ith position, i plus 1 position, i plus 2 position is the same. Then we incremented i by 3 positions. So these are the things which the interviewer is checking whether you can come up with instead of complicating the logic for such Anyways, let's come down. And um, mm, let's also, yeah, execute this. Yeah. <coughs> so, compilation, Java C, uh, Mars Exploration is the name of the class. So, dot Java, okay, and uh, Java Mars Exploration.
So I will give yes OS, yes TS, then yes QS, then yes uh, OR. So clearly there are three distortions. So if I press enter, it will T and O, uh, Q and uh, R. Okay. So if I press enter correctly, it is returning 3. Okay. So it works perfectly.